Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to the Library Workflow chapter. In this chapter, we're basically going to take everything that we've learned so far in the library module and apply it to an actual job. So we're going to learn basically via real life examples on how to sort and cull, how to manage your files, how to organize them, keyword them, etc. Now, one of the things that you're going to learn if you haven't learned already is that there is more than one way to skin a cat. In, in fact, in Lightroom, there's often four to five ways to perform the exact same function. So we're going to kind of show you guys, give you guys some ideas, talk through some different ways of uh, utilizing each one of these functions in your workflow, as well as teach you guys how we do it in our workflow to give you guys kind of an example of what we do. So the goal of this is basically to learn all the different library module functions with real life examples and to pick the right workflow that works for you. Now to do this, the best way for us to teach this was to actually prepare a new set of exercise files that was uh, from an actual shoot, showing images from start to finish. Our previous working catalog that we had was the Lightroom tutorial catalog. We're actually going to come back to this, so, so don't delete it by any means. When we get to the develop module, we're going to use these images to show you guys how to develop and to how to process these images. But for now, we create a new set of exercise files. You guys can download just via any of the uh, articles in this chapter. We'll actually have the links. So there is two sets. One is JPEGs, one is RAWs. They're the exact same. Uh, both have 45 images. They're all the same images. The raw files are 566 megabytes versus the JPEGs that are 132. So depending on your connection, pick which one you want to download. Both will work just fine for this tutorial series, so either one is okay. Now what we're going to do with this chapter basically is after each step in this chapter, we will provide the catalog file for you guys to be able to download. So if at any point in time you guys get lost, or you guys can download the catalog file that shows everything that we've been, uh, everything that we've done up until that point. Uh, also, like maybe we're going to go through and basically rate and sort and everything. If you guys don't want to go through every single image, then just feel free to download the catalog file where it'll show all the previous images that we've rated and sorted and everything like that. Okay, so from here on out, we're going to go through, we're going to show you guys how to extract these images um, into a, a folder as well as to load them into the catalog. We've previously taught this how to create a new catalog and load import your images. So if you already learned that, skip this next portion and go to the next tutorial. For those of you that are unfamiliar, maybe just need a refresher on uh, creating a catalog as well as importing your images, then we're going to show you how to do that now. And I'm going to take this raw set of files, and basically what I've already done is just extracted them to my originals folder. And to do that, you just right click on them, it'll bring up this little extract here, um, or, you can use, or you can just open them uh, with your Windows Explorer, double click on, oops, there we go double click on the raws and then you're just going to drag and drop them into your folder called 00 originals or whatever you want to call it is fine. Now I'm going to load up Lightroom and because it didn't have a default catalog to to look for it basically it couldn't find the previous catalog I was working on it asked me what I want to do and I want to say let's say use the default and then I'm going to create a new catalog. So we're going to go new, we can go desktop under the SR Lounge, and then we'll just call this Catalog. I, normally I'd create a more descriptive name, of course, but for this one we'll just skip it and say Catalog. And then I'm just going to import my images. And I've already put the images in the correct folder location, so all I need to do is basically just add them to the, the Catalog file. And if, if your desktop isn't conveniently uh, selected already right down here, then just go select a source, click Desktop, it'll automatically take you to the Desktop folder. I'm going to point it to the SR Lounge shoot and then to the Originals folder. Again, I wanted to just add the images. I don't want it to render previews. That's fine. Everything else is basically fine default. Unclick Import. And there we go. We've got our images into our catalog. And basically what you're seeing here is the images from our undefined product shoot where we did a shoot of their bag as well as their bag with uh, the, their models. So. Alright guys, so feel free to go to the next video where we can get into the culling process.